DeFi Yield's a really cool app where you can connect your various different wallets in the crypto space. This is MetaMask, Cardano, Solana, all these different chains that DeFi Yield actually supports. And from that, you can pull in all your data across the different uh, DEXs that you're connected with, all the DeFi apps and even NFTs, so you can see potentially how much your entire crypto portfolio is worth. Now, this is really useful in the DeFi space in that you're using all these different wallets, you're using all these different DEXs, and it's really hard to see at a glance overall what your in portfolio or your speculations in the crypto markets what they're actually worth but DeFi yield aggregates all that data together in one place and makes it really easy to see with lots of visual graphs so you know exactly how much money you've lost yeah i know i've, I've lost plenty but this is a really cool thing and let me just pull it up for you so you have a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at so this is the DeFi yield app here at the moment and you can see you can connect with uh, various evm chains even centralized exchanges as well Solana Cardano and then the Cosmos ecosystem and down here you can use uh, ENS domains as well so if you have one of those you can quickly pull that up and get connected that way so I can click on this one here various uh, uh, EVM wallets here and even your Ledger Nano and Trezor as well so uh, just a reminder if you're in the crypto space it's very worthwhile getting a hardware wallet it uh, really helps protect some of your assets so here I'll just connect my MetaMask wallets just to ask me to authorize and there you go, you can see a little bit of uh, assets I have on this particular wallet here. Now the really cool thing, because it's EVM based, it's pulling across all these different assets across the different chains at the same time. So you can see what I've got on BNB chain, Milkometer, and also on the Ethereum network as well. You can see what uh, protocols I'm connected with here. So that's with the, the Blue Shift wallet, uh, Blue Shift Dex there that you can see, etc., etc. And it's pretty cool in what it can do. Furthermore, you can add in additional wallets and I can switch over to my Cardano wallet here. In this case, I'll connect with my NAMI wallet and I'll just also authorize this one and it'll pull in what I have on this wallet across the various different ecosystems. So here you can see I have a little bit of crypto on my uh, Cardano wallet here and on a couple of protocols too. So not a huge amount, but uh, you can see at a glance exactly where you're at. Now they do have support for various things such as sending and swapping as well. So they've integrated in with uh, various DEXs and this is where the platform gets their fees from. They take a little bit of a fee off the top when you do some uh, various swaps on their platform. And it's, it's kind of a convenience thing when you have everything in one interface, it's a little bit easier to do, uh, do some of these DeFi swaps and, and whatnot when you're uh, interfacing within one singular platform. Now, the really cool thing that they have here is the safe shield and the scanner. Now, this actually looks at the very smart contracts that you're potentially hooked into on the various DEXs or NFT marketplaces. And it, it scans for those known vulnerabilities and anything that is known uh, on the internet that you're connected with within your wallet, it will flag it and it will alert you that there's a possible vulnerability here and you need to do something about it. So it's really cool that it does those things. It takes the whole DeFi app to the next level to have those safety measures in there as well. Now, I was lucky enough to talk to Casey at Rare Bloom in 2022. It's now called Rare Evo, but we managed to sit down and have a little bit of a conversation about DeFi Yield, learn a little bit more about the platform, what they have in store, what they are developing in the future as well, and exactly how it all works and how you guys can benefit from using such a platform. Now, just as a disclaimer, I'm not paid for any of this. I don't have referral links for DeFi Yield or anything like that. This is just purely because I think it's a pretty cool product. So uh, let's get into this interview. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate. So I'm here at Rare Bloom talking to Casey from DeFi Yield. This is a pretty cool platform. I watched them develop all the aspects when they were trying to launch in the Gadona ecosystem. So I saw little bits and pieces evolve over time. So I'm pretty excited about this one and talk to Casey a little bit about it. But Casey, welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you. Thanks right. for having me. Can we get a little bit of an overview about what DeFi Yield is? So DeFi Yield is a cross-chain asset management dashboard. We're the first to move beyond the EVM or Ethereum virtual machine space 
we're the first to integrate Cardano along with other non-EVM blockchains. So when we talk about our dashboard, there are several key features to it. There's the main dashboard where you can see all your assets on one page. We also allow you to explore different opportunities throughout the DeFi space using our Explorer tool. And most recently, and quite importantly, one thing that we've launched is called the DeFi Antivirus. So this is made up of two key tools, the scanner and the shield. DeFi Antivirus sounds pretty interesting. Uh, go on. So the DeFi Antivirus works similarly to what you will install on your PC. So when you install an antivirus on your PC, what it actually does is it scans for programs that are known to be malicious. Similarly, in this case, we use proprietary smart contract scanning technology, scan smart contracts in less than 10 seconds, identify the vulnerabilities in that smart contract based on a library of over 20 different known vulnerabilities and give you a personalized risk rating. Then the user can go ahead and revoke permissions to that contract and avoid losing money before the rug pull event inevitably occurs. Wow, that's, uh, that's absolutely amazing, protecting users that way. Okay, so I, I know this kind of thing happens in the Ethereum space, the EVM uh, space quite often. Um, so is it also scanning stuff in the Cardano ecosystem as well or looking into potential vulnerabilities there? So yes, we are launching on Cardano very, very soon. Currently, we mainly support EVM chains, but basically DeFi in Cardano remains very young at the moment. We just had a Vasil hard fork that makes things a lot easier to run. And yeah, we do expect that while there are many, many good projects out here, as you can see here in Rare Bloom, yeah. um, inevitably you're going to get one or two bad actors to come in. Um, and yeah, we're building that to preempt this possibility and make sure that Cardano remains safe. Brilliant. So how else and why else would a user use DeFi Yield? How else and why else? So first of all, they're able to see all their assets on one page, as I mentioned earlier. Then they're able to figure out what risks they're exposed to and explore opportunities. But the fourth thing that I would like to mention is that we're very, very big on DeFi education. So as we can see over here, we have the book titled The Wall Street Era is Over. So this is actually a kind of beginner's guide to DeFi gives you an overview of the DeFi world as well as the story of how DeFi yield started. We also have a YouTube channel with over 10,000 subscribers and that mainly puts out educational content, the latest news, and also have security content. So educating people on smart contract risk. On top of that, we also have things like copywriting, um, so we have a Medium page, and that contains various articles such as the ultimate guides to yield farming on various ecosystems. Cardano is one of them, Melcomida, we just released that recently. And then we also have our community outreach efforts. So that's things like Twitter, uh, Twitter spaces, where we had over 4,000 uh, listeners in on the Cardano one. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, I'd also like to explain for anyone that is watching as, and listening as well that um, if they've never experienced like one of these dashboards before, uh, you could simply, if you're using, for example, Sunday Swap, um, Wing Riders, and MinSwap all at the same time, uh, you basically don't know what assets you have where at a glance. And your platform solves that by connecting them all together, seeing what's in your wallet, where it's connected, and having it all in one place so you can go, wow, I've lost a lot of money today or, or gained a lot of money. That, that's, that's pretty much the crux of it, right? Yes, that's pretty much the crux of it. So previously, you will have to connect multiple wallets, go to different websites to see your assets. But in this case, we have a feature called bundles. So you're able to create a bundle of wallets across different chains. All you do is load up that bundle. And once you log into that site, load it up, everything will be there for you when you log in. Amazing. So if you're actually participating in different ecosystems as well, which uh, I am as well, so you can log in and connect your MetaMask as well and see your entire portfolio, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so MetaMask, Flint Wallet, all of that good stuff. Just connect everything and you're good to go. Right. So what's next for your project? Or more importantly, how are you guys funding yourself? Like it, the, All this stuff will cost quite a lot of money to run the servers and everything. How does the funding work for you guys? 
Right, so first of all, in terms of future plans, we have a browser extension on the way, as well as a mobile app. So that probably creates even more costs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually have quite a number of reputable investors. Um, they range from venture capitalists, angel investors, uh, the likes of Coinbase Ventures, I mean, individuals from Coinbase Ventures. Yeah. And we also have big, more institutional investors such as Huobi Ventures, as well as OKX. Yeah. So really, the investment is quite strong in this. I think we just had a $12 million raise. That's um, nothing to sneeze at. That's quite a lot of money. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so um, I would also like to know what do the investors get out of all that? So um, at the moment, from what I understand, there's, uh, I don't have to pay for your service or anything like that. So um, I, is it like a data thing that the investors get? Like what's the, what's the, the mechanism there? So eventually the business model kind of functions um, with several features. For example, we have a all-in-one DeFi dashboard that allows you to trade, provide liquidity, yield farm. So whenever you make a trade or swap through our platform, there's a fee, and that fee kind of generates income. And as with any business, you know, investors just want to see income cash flow coming in. Yeah. Yeah. The other one is the security aspect. So things that automate the audits, um, the scanner functionality, um, in the future, we're also launching a DeFi yield token. However, uh, details on that um, are still in development. Yep. So yeah, that is kind of going to be where we're getting um, more money in, so yep. if that yep. makes sense. Yes, yes, it does make sense. So okay, it's good to know the business model so that now if I'm using the platform, it's going to be around in many more years to come. So I can be assured that uh, whatever I'm connecting up and getting used to will be still there in a few years time. So it's good to know that. Awesome. Okay. So how can users get onto the platform? Where do they go? Can they connect with you guys in the community? What's the go there? Right. So as you can see over here, actually, we do have DeFiYield.app. So DeFiYield.app is our main platform. That's where you connect your wallet. And that's where you see all your assets. You can visit our various databases, our scanner tools. And then in terms of socials, we have Twitter, at DeFi Yield app. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, which is DeFi Yield. Just search that on YouTube. And we also have our Telegram group. So there's about 16,000 members in there. Just chat about DeFi, uh, yield farming opportunities and all that. Amazing. And I'm glad you guys launched on Cardano as well and uh, supporting our ecosystem here. So it's uh, nice to see projects that are originally built on the EVM space moving over to Cardano as well and doing some really cool, amazing things there. Yeah, absolutely. All the links down below for you guys. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about the platform, have a look at the links below. You will be able to find our show notes at learncardano.io. Now, if you are wanting to use these type of apps, anytime you connect your wallet to a DAP or anything, make sure you read exactly what you're allowing that particular DAP to do. Now, when you're connecting this one up with your Cardano native wallet, it will say it will ask for read access and then ask for transaction requests. You have to authorize those each time you do a transaction. So please make sure you're aware of what you're doing on any of these DAPs. There's all these fake websites and whatnot, and they could potentially drain your website. So proceed with caution. And with that, if you enjoyed this content, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you'll see me in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.